Hey guys, so here is the Love From Lizzie kit for August. I will include the link above to the unboxing, but here's kind of an overview of what came in the kit. So before we get started, I'm going to show you how I cut my cardstock down. Now the cardstock is that comes from Lizzie's kit, that's in Lizzie's kit, comes from the UK obviously. So their card size is different. The white is our, the state's 8.5 by 11 and I believe Canada, but I don't know. And the red is Lizzie's cardstock. So you can see that Lizzie's cardstock is a little bit narrower, narrower and longer. So what I do is I just cut it at 11. So that's what I'm doing here. Sorry, the focus kind of goes in and out. And once I cut it at 11, I then cut it at five and a half. What would be your typical uh, cut line for an A2 size card base. And I just make it easy. They're all going to be side holding cards. So trim it at 11, cut it five and a half. And then I'll show you what else I do once I'm done cutting all my cardstock. So then I bring in my scoreboard, and I think before I do that, so the black is Lizzie's, the white is a normal A2 size card base. So you can see it's a, the state's size hangs over a little. So when you score and fold a card from the Love From Lizzie card kit, it still will fit in an A2 size envelope, which is a teensy bit smaller. So it measures eight and a quarter. So it's what, quarter inch smaller than a normal A2 size car. So what I do is I scored it four and an eighth. Fold it, perfect. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to score all the card bases at four and an eighth. And like I said, these card bases will fit into an A2 size envelope. And then after I score it, I keep those strips that I'm going to show you right here. These I save for sentiments. So there are all my card bases and I have sentiment strips. So moving on to card one, I just kind of wanted to show that since I haven't shown that in a while. So I've already cut, I'm going to use the red card base, I've already cut my pattern paper and my glimmer paper that came in the kit that I'm going to use to make my card. And I'm using this banner triple punch to cut banner ends. And then just kind of placing where I think I want it. To the right you see a doily. This is from my stash. It's a huge pack of doilies, all different colors I got at Michael's. And I really like the theme of this kit and I really felt like the doilies that I had in my stash paired well. So you will see one in this card and then I do bring another one in another card. I just cut it in half and then attach it to my little banner pieces and then I go ahead and attach that to my card base. Trim off that little edge right there. I didn't like that at all, so get rid of that. And then I took a piece of the pattern paper and I used a heart die that I have in my stash and I cut out this piece. Go ahead and attach that to my card. And then I do bring in the chipboard stickers. These are add-ons that you could have purchased with the kit. I love chipboard stickers. I can't say that enough. And so I just slap that on there and that completes card one really pretty. For card two, I am bringing in the add-on alphabet stickers. They're really nice. They're the uh, dark red with some polka dots and I'm using that one strip I had cut from the cardstock. So I'm just, sorry my head gets in the way. I try to edit out when my head's in the way because I know it is annoying um, but sometimes it just can't be helped. So forgive me for that. Anyway, Go ahead and pop on their new home. I've already cut down a piece of the 
really pretty burlap ribbon that came in the kit. Cut that, fold it on behind itself with just some tape adhesive. And then I go ahead and figure out where I want this. I wanted to use those three little chip, uh, not chipboard. Are they chipboard? I guess they're chipboard. Yes. Chipboard houses. The birdhouse. I think they're all three. Well, two of them are birdhouses. Can be used as birdhouse. One of them for sure. And then the other two are just your regular house. But I go ahead and attach those with my liquid adhesive to the card just so it's a nice new home card for somebody. This did not stick, so I do take that off and fix it in a second. Since I have it off, I go ahead and take a stamp out of the stamp set and stamp down one of the images. This is Cherry Cobbler ink, so it went really well with the kit because it's a little bit of a darker, richer red. And I go ahead and stamp that stamp image down just to kind of fill in that empty space. And then I use some double-sided score tape to adhere this piece to my ribbon or burlap. And it adheres very nicely. Um, you could, like I'm messing with the card now, I could pull it up if I wanted to, but um, if somebody doesn't mess with it, it sticks fine. Go ahead and adhere that down, and then I add some twine, I tie a bow, and then I stick a glue dot under the bow to secure my bow. And then I go back, well I don't go back. I go in with my Nuvo drops that came in the kit and add a few Nuvo drops. I fill in the circles from the stamps, uh, the stamp, and then I add a few few Nuvo drops around the houses. Which right here, this card actually looks good. You could do it without adding the Nuvo drops. At the time, I thought it needed something, but looking back, it was totally fine the way it was. And that's it for card two. For card three, I am taking another strip from the cardstock I trimmed in the beginning, and I go ahead and stamp the banner, and then I stamp the sentiment. It's Kiss the Cook. And then I take this tag, it's the cork tag, which I really like. I thought it was really different. And I'm like, I'm gonna try to stamp on it. I'm gonna try to heat emboss, actually. So this is dye ink, Stampin' Up's dye ink. So I had to work quickly because the ink doesn't stay as wet as a pigment ink or a Versamark. But I wanted my lips to be red and I did not want to use red embossing powder. I wanted to use that cherry cobbler because it's a darker red. So it worked. I just inked it up with my cherry cobbler ink, poured clear embossing powder over it really quickly, heat embossed it, totally fine. Use this pattern paper that I already trimmed down and go ahead and attach it to my card base as well as the cork. I use a few glue dots to secure the twine so it doesn't fly everywhere. And then I use a scallop square die to cut a piece of the red cardstock that came in the kit. It's kind of a, I don't want to say shimmery because it's not shimmery, but it has a sheen to it. It's really pretty. Go ahead and hear my vellum piece. You saw me run it through my Xyron Create sticker. So there's adhesive all on the back of the vellum. This doily I had in my stash. And I'm just using my Nuvo adhesive to attach it. And then I go ahead and pop this up. Well, I don't pop it up, but glue it on the doily. And then I do pop up the sentiment.
And that completes card three. Oh, no it doesn't. After I add some gems, gemstones that came in the kit, that will complete card three. And it is a busy pattern, that quilt paper, so the gemstones aren't as noticeable, but when you do move the card and you see that sparkle, it just gives it a little extra something. So for card four, I've taken a scalloped die and went ahead and cut a piece off the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put this piece of pattern paper on the bottom, trim it up. And then I am taking some fun foam and I'm trimming it to fit the piece of pattern paper. I love this pattern paper. It's very, very pretty. Go ahead and adhere that down and so it's popped up on my card base. So here I'm taking a ch the cherry stamp and I am going to stamp it up with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and then I'm going to use my Chameleon Pen. I, this is the third kit that the Chameleon Pen has come in and I haven't used it at all. So I'm like, I must use it this kit. <laughs> so I'm going to use it to color the leaves. Now, I do not use it until later on. I don't use the cherry until later on, but um, my original plan was to include it with this card. It didn't work the way I wanted it, so I'm just keeping it in. So you can see how I colored it, but just so you know, the cherry will make a return appearance later on in the video. So I colored the leaf, the leaf with the chameleon pen. It was real interesting. I did like, the reason why I haven't shown it in previous videos is because I didn't like the result I was getting. So I'm like, let me just do it small with the leaf and I really liked it. It worked out well. And so then I'm bringing in my Spectrum Noir markers and I'm coloring the cherries and the stem. And then I do fussy cut out the cherry. And so this piece came in the kit, the little embellishment piece. And so I'm like, I'm going to try to stamp on it do a little heat embossing. I'm using my Versifying because it does stay wet longer, but I was so afraid the stamp was going to smear that I ended up not even stamping it completely. So here I'm bringing a Ranger embossed pen in black, and I'm filling in the spots I missed. And then I am using my clear embossing powder. I pour that over it again and then he reheat it. The surface of that piece of paper is slick, so um, I was, like I said, I was really worried about it smearing, but it turned out okay. That pen is something you definitely want in your stash. It's Ranger, Embossit pen, it comes in clear and black. I got a pack of two. Then I'm taking the twine that came in the kit, and I'm like, I just want to add a couple little strings to the end just for some interest. And then I adhere my Made With Love sentiment down with tape adhesive. And then here I'm taking Multimedia Matte to adhere the frame down. And then I forgot I had some sequins. And so I'm just adding a few sequins here and there using glue dots. And then there's a sticker sheet that comes in the kit 
and I just peel off a little tab. It says best ever. And I go ahead and attach that. That you could have left that out, added a different one. I just wanted something on the bottom there. So for card five, this one's actually my favorite card, which is surprising. Um, because when I was making it, I wasn't sure if I liked it. So I go ahead and adhere this piece of pattern paper down, and it has strawberries on it. Adhere that down with some glue, trim it up. Then I use my scallop die to adhere this circle piece down. But I didn't like the way the red looked behind. So here I brought in the kind of vanilla yellow strip from when I trimmed the cardstock down. Oh, excuse my head. I was wearing a sleeping mask because I was fighting a really bad headache. And the pressure from the sleeping mask helps. Just a tidbit if you happen to suffer from headaches. I get migraines. So um, anyway, so ignore that. <laughs> I probably look like a lunatic, but hey, whatever helps your head. So I created, I trimmed down the little yellow strip from the cardstock I had trimmed earlier kind of like a gift and then I go ahead and attach all that and then tie a bow from the ribbon that came in the kit this bow is beautiful it's like a velvet stick that up at the top and then I add some gemstones all around the centers of some of the flowers and then once I was done, I was like, oh, it needs something else. I don't know. There needs to be some separation between the yellow and the pattern paper. So then I bring the hot chocolate peel-offs. And my head gets in the way a lot because I had to center them. So a lot of it is edited out so you don't have to see the back of my head. But as you can see, I am lining each side of the yellow piece of paper and it looks like a, a wrapped gift. I don't know, I really like this card. Every time I see it through editing and all that, it's like, yeah. <laughs> There's always that one card that's like, wow, I'm really proud of myself. And then I go ahead and since the sentiment says kiss the cook, I stamp the lips on the inside. So that completes card five, my favorite one. For card six, I am bringing in a the black card base and Stamping the cherries, and I'm using my Simon Says Stamp Gold Antique Gold Embossing Powder, and I'm going to emboss the whole thing. And then I'm taking this piece of vellum, and I'm cutting out the Happiness is Homemade. My original plan did not work for this card so I had switched it up on the left top right hand corner you see that the piece I cut it from was had a sticky back but I actually messed that up so it didn't work take a piece of the burlap and go ahead and adhere it to the center and then I trim it off um, I would just use tape adhesive I don't know why I chose to use the liquid adhesive but I mean it stays it's, it's definitely stuck on there it just you have to be patient with it to let it dry so then I go ahead and lay out, I go ahead and hear all these pieces, the vellum piece and then the chipboard sticker of the apron that has cherries on it. And then I take this little clipboard that's part of the chipboard sticker little pack as well and adhere that down because there wasn't really a use for that so I thought it would be perfect with this card. And that completes that card. I like that card too. So moving on to card seven. I take Happiness is Homemade from the sticker sheet that comes in the kit and I go ahead and take this polka dot pattern paper and a strip of the glimmer paper. Adhere the glimmer paper down. Go ahead and cut a piece of the, the polka dot pattern paper to fit my card base. I 
And then I take a couple different size circle dies and I just lay them where I want them. And then I go ahead and use my Big Shot to cut them out. And then I take, I take them off and then move them. And then I cut them out again. And then I go ahead and adhere that holy piece to my card base. So this piece right here, I adhere to my card base. And then I take foam tape and put a little bit on each of the circles. Sorry, my camera, it's a little shaky, the video. So I apologize for that. Anyway, so here I have taken foam tape, popped up the circles, and I am putting the circles back in place. I kind of wanted just something different, a different design. I know this card has a little bit of glimmer, but I think this would make a good uh, masculine card. I don't think a little bit of that glimmer is going to hurt anything, so I think that looks good. Go ahead and add two Nouveau drops to the end. And that completes card seven. Yes, for card eight, I take a heart die and cut out two hearts. I go ahead and take some peel offs and add them to the bottom. And as I'm doing this, I'm like, hmm. So I take a, the wood grain sticker that comes on the sticker sheet that comes in the pack in the kit. And I go ahead and add that to the bottom. And then I add another peel off on the other side. Trim that off and then go ahead and attach my hearts. I use the glimmer paper and die cut out made with love. That die comes in the kit. I love it. It is so, it's a really nice die to have in your stash. I think it would look great on gift tags. Go ahead and use my multimedia mat to attach that down. And then there are two hearts in the stamp set. And I go ahead and take the two hearts with some Versamark. And I go ahead and stamp the two hearts. You can't see them because this is a clear ink. But once it dries, it does darken. So it's just a tone on tone. It looks really nice. So something simple. I also think even though those are two hearts, um, there's nothing wrong with this being a masculine card as well. So for card nine, I take this, I'm kind of stamping off and testing. I take the stamps from the stamp set. I really like these stamps and I definitely wanted to do something with them. Got a little ink smudge, so I'm using my Tombow Mono Eraser to get rid of it. And I go ahead and stamp down. I placed the stamps on the card base where I wanted them, and then I picked it up with my acrylic block, and I am using chocolate chip, I believe, ink. It went really well with the kind of vanilla, uh, the vanilla cardstock, off-white cardstock. So stamp that down, and then I take one of these tags that comes in the kit, and I wanted to use the for you side, but I just decided not to. I've gone ahead and taken some leftover twine from the kit and tied a bow at the top, trimming off the tails. And then I die cut another Made with Love from the red, dark red shimmer type cardstock. And here that down with my multimedia mat. And then I add some sequins. So really simple, quick card, but I wanted the stamps to really kind of shine through. I really like the stamps. For the final card, go ahead and adhere. Here's where I brought the cherries back. I take this apple card stock, adhere that down, take the other half of that doily I used for card one, adhere that down, and then I run this piece of vellum and my cherries through my Create a Sticker Maker. And even though the pattern paper was apples, I was determined to use that cherry that I had colored. So go ahead and adhere that down. 
and then I hear my cherries down and then I add some gemstones. Now my leftover supplies, which I will show you at the end, include uh, a mint card base. I don't know what I did to come up with an extra card base. I think I grabbed on my second card, I grabbed a white piece of cardstock from my stash. I don't know. I don't know how I ended up with an extra card base. But anyway, here are the leftover supplies. I had two full sheets of pattern paper, some scraps, that sticker sheet. There's the little shimmer paper with the glimmer paper, peel-offs, all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite card was. I always enjoy hearing that. Links to Lizzie's shop will be below as well as her uh, Instagram account. Make sure to follow her on Instagram because she does do sneak peeks of the upcoming kits if you are interested so you can grab one on the day it's released. They do go fairly quickly. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.